Hey guys, what up? It's Rhett, back at it with another video. This video is going to be kind of a sad video. Um, as you guys, everybody knows today, Kobe Bryant passed away in a helicopter crash with his daughter. Um, today was supposed to be a happy day. I was going to the Hawks game. And I had a clip this morning from because I was going to vlog this game like you guys wanted. Because I didn't do a good job last time. And... I drove down there, I met my brother, and we were eating, and my phone blew up for my friends, because they know I love Kobe, I have a Kobe poster in my room, um, and they told me he, he died, and I was like, okay, whatever, this is fake, and then I looked, and it was everywhere, um, this hurts, because everything I love, all my usernames on all my stuff, is usually kobe for video games or anything like that and it sucks to see him go because you really fell in love with what he did on the court but then what he was doing after his career fierce competitor greatest game i've ever watched is his 81 point perform or not 81 60 point game for his finale that was the greatest game i ever watched um i love kobe i saw that and it it was really special to see and it was tough tonight being at the Hawks game you could tell everybody was sad um I have some clips from their moment of silence I had some clips from the game but it was kind of sad it was I wasn't really in the mood to do it if I'm gonna be honest um after everything that had gone on it was just a sad day for sports and for everyone in the world for how much he meant to basketball um Trey Young Kobe was one of his mentors Trey said tonight after the game Kobe told him he loved how much he'd improved how much better he'd gotten and how he wanted him to be a role model for his own daughter Gianna who Trey Young was her favorite player um she told him he was her favorite player to watch. She loved watching him. She went to three NBA games this year, Trey said, and two of them were his games because she loved watching him play. Um, it's a truly special moment tonight when we saw Trey come out wearing the number eight. It just shows this is bigger than basketball. Everybody in the NBA was taking 24 second violations, eight second violations. It was just special. Um, I think I wish Trey would have worn eight the whole time, but I 100% get it. Um, we were hoping Trey would get a 60-point game. He didn't. He got 45, but you knew he was going out there to play hard. For Kobe, he played more than he's been playing every game this year, and I think it was because he wanted to go out there and play, get, get all his emotions out on the basketball court. Um... It's just a tough day. Vince was talking about how tough it was. Just the world of sports. Because Kobe, being a great father, great person on and off the court, so much he's done for basketball, and how much he cared for his family, how good of a father he was to his daughters, was great. Um, he talks about how his daughter that was in the helicopter crash with him today got him to fall in love with basketball again after he retired. He loved watching games with her, kind of bonding. And it's just sad to know that they're gone. Um, I can't imagine what his wife and his other daughters are going through. I mean, you just got to send your heart some pr heart and prayers out to them. Um, his other daughter, after she figured out the news, she apparently had an asthma attack. Like, she was had to go to the hospital. It could have been even worse for the family. Um, I don't know how this is going to go for him because he had so much plans, so much stuff going on. He was so big in the world of basketball, and he's gone too soon. 
taken from us, it feels like. Um, I remember I was talking to somebody, and people cared about the rapper Juice World so much. And, I mean, I liked his music, but everybody was sad when he died. But it was like, okay, I mean, he did drugs. That's why he died. And there was a reason, but Kobe, he was just taken from us. A great man, a great person, somebody you never would have thought of to have been taken from us at this age. And his daughter, who's 13, that's the saddest thing, is I'm four years older than her, and she's gone already. She didn't get to experience the good things in life. Um, I can't imagine what they're going through, what Lakers fans are going through. I know this is a Hawks YouTube channel. But today, the NBA community is coming together as a family, and it's just one. Um, I wanted to vlog. I, I swear to you guys, I wanted to. I had clips. I had warm-up clips. Um, but you could just feel how bad it was in the arena. Dominic Wilkins, I got him to sign an autograph, but he was really sad. Trey didn't even sign autographs. There's a video of him crying with his mom. He warmed up really quick and went back in. It's just a sad day for the world of sports. And I don't, I think it'll be like this for a little while. Everybody will just is in shock and depressed for a little bit. But I think we'll get back on our feet. And life will be getting, get going. Um, I will, I will share one thing that I did get tonight at the game just to kind of end it. Um, I got a peach tree jersey. They ran out, but my brother ended up getting me one, which is good, but it just, it hurts. I think we're all hurting together. Um, guys. Please leave a like and subscribe. I have my Instagram down in the comment sections. Please go follow me on there for updates about when I'm uploading videos. Till next time, peace.